Hello, and welcome to another edition of the Gravestone Pros with North Country Memorials. Today, I'm going to take you through production of a monument from beginning to end. see my father Kurt, the founding owner, uncreating a stone. Tell us a little more about that. We're just inspecting the stone here, making sure nothing got damaged in shipment. Uh, also looking uh, carefully for blemishes and uh, just want to make sure we have a good quality stone to work with. Nice. And what is Matt doing here? This is designing on computer with a CAD system. And the machine here is called a plotter. And it's a tiny little knife being driven by the computer and it's cutting out the design in the rubber and uh, lettering, dates, and all of that. So it's putting all the information. Here you can see that me and Matt are cutting the stencil down. This is a larger stone and so we had to cut it into smaller chunks to be able to get it straight onto the stone. Otherwise you get a little bit of a uh, bend in the rubber if you try and stretch it the full length uh, without cutting it down like this. So we're just peeling off the the back that's not sticky so that the sticky part will adhere to the stone. And what's this here? This is called weeding. Uh, once the stone uh, is prepped, uh, we take and peel all the lettering and design out of that's been cut out of the rubber and uh, getting it ready for the sandblast part. So we're peeling everything that the plotter had cut earlier. Correct. Nice. So after that's done, the stone is blasted and then the old stencil has to come off. Here you can see Matt is peeling off all the old stencil and you can see the letters are there uh, underneath as you pull them off. Once that's done, generally we take and set the stone, but as you can see by this photo, this stone had some more fancy artwork. Can you tell us about that? Right now I'm setting up to do what's called fine art etching. It's done with a vibrating Dremel tool, a uh, diamond tipped etcher. Uh, we take from a drawing that the customer has approved and we trace that onto the stone and then once that's on uh, I get the, a little tool and start to do the artwork. And what kind of tool is that? It's an uh, engraver, diamond tip, it's vibrating and it actually scratches into the stone creating a, a light contrast onto the ba dark uh, background. Nice. And here's just some close-up photos of the finished artwork once it was all done on the stone. This is their family farm in Sugarbush. And once all that artwork is done, the stone is loaded up onto the truck and taken to the cemetery. What's being done here? Getting prepped to uh, unload and uh, set the base down on the foundation. There's a cement foundation in the ground and uh, we've got a, a hoist and uh, a remote so that we can work together getting it ready to set down put the die on top that's what will be coming next after this nice it's nice to have that lift looks like it's quite a lot of weight that we're putting down there huh yep several thousand pounds very nice so once we've got the base put down like you said we take and we bring the die over and then we set it onto the stone here we're lining it up making sure that it is all correct from every side, measuring and checking that it is on the stone in the correct spot. Then what's this here? Down around the bottom of this is a, it's, we call it a setting compound. It's a, a clay-like uh, substance. Uh, basically it keeps any moisture out of get, from getting between the dye and the base. Uh, here in the North Country we have a lot of freezing and thawing in the winter time and if there's water in there it can actually move that dye on top of the base. And uh, so we're just getting it set so it'll stay in place. Once it's all set, you'll see him trimming it up here in just a second and getting all the excess clay out of there. And that's pretty much the whole process from beginning to end. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this informative. Leave a comment and let us know what you thought. Also, subscribe to our channel. This has been another production of the Gravestone Pros with North Country Memorials. We'll be with you all the way.